Students head back to school next week just as COVID cases are spiking post Christmas. Katrin ASAP joins us with what schools are doing to help keep kids safe and what families need to know as they break out the backpacks next week. Katrin. Well, Mallory, the focus comes on two ends. Everything a school district is doing to try and prep buildings for students and what the students themselves can do to keep this semester safe. We got fog, door tables, chairs, getting it all ready for the kids. It's a routine Benton has perfected. Sanitizing these hallways so kids can focus on learning. Our maintenance crew, they are doing this. They take their job seriously. The deep clean is one way the school district is trying to keep COVID out of the classroom. Wiping down surfaces. We do it every day. And keeping schools stocked with ways to stop the spread. We make sure that we really are keeping our kids safe. With cases on the rise, it's what the district can do to protect its kids. But on the other end of the fight, really the bigger issue with COVID is airborne spread. Are the kids themselves. What we're seeing is probably the tip of the iceberg. Dr. Robert Hopkins at UAMS has been tracking COVID since it began and knows that besides clean drinking fountains and desks, stopping the spread is also up to students. Oh, wow. It's important that we get as many of those kids five years of age and older vaccinated. Besides getting the shot, he recommends prepping for the new semester by stocking up on these. I really think that's important. While crews will be doing their own prep, the COVID routine they've come to know by heart. Now, other advice is to know how your kids are feeling and keep them home if they feel sick. Hopkins also recommends testing again once you're out of quarantine to make sure you're fully recovered before heading back to class. Mallory. And 